Hey guys, I brought you access to one of the hottest girls in Essex. It's Miss Chloe Sims. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. So, our Arab fans are mad about you. Yeah, okay. you're a stunner, as you can see. <laughs> thank but you. could you tell our Arab fans how you started out? Because from the internet, I say that you was a Playboy model and yeah. then turned into a reality star. So yeah. just tell our audience a little bit about how you went from there into reality TV? Yeah, um, Towie's been on TV for like nearly two years now. Um, I come in at the start of the second series, and before that, I was a Playboy bunny in France for a year. Um, how was that like? It was crazy. I'm not going to lie to you, you got every boy excited when when they found out you were the Playboy bunny. Yeah, I did, but um, when like obviously when you say Playboy, people automatically think about Playboy magazines and things like that, but. I wasn't in that area of it. I was literally a Playboy bunny, and um, we used to promote the brand um, all around France and Switzerland, all French-speaking countries. That goal from you doing that and then appearing on the only way to Essex. Um, well, basically, um, there was all rumours going around Essex that they was thinking about making a show like um, The Hills, the one in America, right. in Essex, about okay. Essex. And um, my friend knew somebody, you know, was in Essex, you always know someone who knows someone mm. who knew the producers. And she was like, oh my God, Chloe, you should definitely go for this. By that point, I was like, I was, I was looking for something new to do, but I was just started out at Playboy at this point as well. So anyway, I went along and met the producers. I didn't even have a channel yet. They were yeah. just literally talking to people from Essex. Okay. And I used to send them a blog every week about what I've been doing, like disastrous dates and things about my life. And then about, I think maybe two months later, they got back in touch with me. And they was like, we've got a channel. This is really exciting. We want to come and see you again. So I was like, OK. So I come and had another meeting. But by that point, I'd really started enjoying my Playboy job. Okay. And I was getting into travelling, the summer was coming and they was like, we want you to have six weeks off, you can't work, you can't leave the country um, to film this show. And I thought, no, I'm not doing it. Just changed my mind. I got scared. I thought, like, what could this could ruin my life? I mean, if it goes wrong, then you're fucked. Like, well, if it goes epic. wrong, like, the whole country would have seen no. it. Like, it would have well gone wrong. <laughs> anyway, by the time of the second series, I was bored of being a bunny. I totally got over it. I was ready to put them ears away. <laughs> And then they got in touch with me and they said, we're interviewing everybody who didn't come on the first series for whatever reason, are you interested? And I was like, yeah, like I jumped at the chance. And I literally stopped my Playboy job one week and started filming for TOWIE in secret for two weeks. No so your daughter, is she aware of how famous you've become? Um, I don't think Madison remembers me not being on television because like, it's been nearly two years. She's how old is she only now? five, she's seven now. Okay. And I don't think she remembers a time when people didn't ask me for photographs and recognise me. Um, I really don't think she remembers that. I think she thinks this is normal. Are you single? Every man wants to know this question. Are you single? Yes, I'm single. All right, now you're single. Yeah. What's your type? I want to know what her type is. Right. Every man out there wants to know what your type is. Um, my type would definitely be funny. Got to be funny, got to have banter. Not too serious. How, how is he supposed to look like? What's your package? I don't really go for looks. I go for personality. But every girl has a dream man. Time. Um, dream man would be... What colour skin? I like dark men. Okay. Um, dark features, dark hair. And I like men, like real okay. men. Like I don't like um, guys that take things too serious. That okay. probably counts out all of the guys in Essex. Right, okay. <laughs> You know, like with the gelled hair and yeah, like, right. I don't know, someone who spends more time but in the like mirror dark, than me. That was... Dark features, dark hair. Dark men, yes. Yeah. Talk about me. Um... <laughs> 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 Hey guys, we're back. Um, as you lot just saw, we just saw Chloe do her photo shoot. Looks stunning, Thank as you. always. By the way, you're very dangerous. You what, look as da in dangerous as in dangerous? Dangerous as in like, dangerous. Or like, dangerous as in you're scared? No, dangerous as in like, damn. Oh, I like that kind of dangerous. Damn. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, 
Like you have to be careful. You get men in trouble. <laughs> No, but, um, I might look dangerous, but I'm not actually. I'm a really good girl. You're a good girl. Yeah. No, we like good girls. We like good girls. Good girls. Um, okay. Recently, I read a quote about you, which I was a bit shocked about. It said that how you're not happy with the way you look. Apparently, you're not happy with the way she looks. Yeah. Well, what's that? I about? don't think any women are happy with the way they look. I don't think. I think that you could probably like survey a hundred women in any part of the world and they'd all complain about something. I don't think anyone's completely 100% happy about the way they look. I know you're very open about cosmetic surgery. Um, half of the whole of the Middle Eastern world are big fan of cosmetic surgery. Like every single person has had something done, they'll put like a little plaster on their nose, in the cafe, chin, teeth, everything. So they're big fans out there. I know you're a fan. Yeah. Um, and you had a program about your bum. Yeah. Well, basically, there's a lot of confusion. Okay. So just to set the record straight, I haven't had bum implants. And um, what I had was a procedure, which is really subtle, and they basically take your own fat from the top fat. of your legs. Fat. Yeah, and they just put it what? at the top. <laughs> no, but I did. I put a little bit on. I was like really excited because I went to the surgeon the first time, and it's like, no, you're too skinny. We're not going to do it. Right. And then I put a little bit of weight on, and I had to decide whether to lose my fires and put it in my bum or whether to keep my fires. But anyway, I did take the fat from my thighs and put it in my bum. But obviously with any fat in your body, if you don't eat properly and like yeah. keep up with that kind of diet, then I lost it. So I lost the weight and it's gone. So now I've got any thighs or bum. But you keep talking about bum on your show. Like yeah, your because I like, I like bum big pads, bottoms. Bum. But you, you got no, that. I wear bum pads all the I time. Know, I, I love you. them. <laughs> yeah, them spanks, they're always on. I absolutely love them. But I had a mare the other week because... Um, <coughs> A pap thought it would be clever to pack me like right down there right. as I was walking, and the light from the flash made my leggings see through, and you could actually see the pat, um, pads like in my spanks. And the next morning, I woke up to a lovely little um, story on the Daily Mail online saying about it, and they'd like zoomed right in. I was thinking, oh god, that's so humiliating, but I guess the secret's out, so you never <laughs> know. You know, if I meet somebody you know and they I find out about the bar. Girls have so many secrets. It, it, like... No, but listen, that is just temporary. I am going to have the big operation. Are you going to have bum implants? I am, no, I'm not having the um, implants because I'm not big enough. You have to, it's for more for women that have already got a bum. Because so what's your type if of you put bum? them in, you'll be able to see them. So I'm going to have a different procedure to fill it out. What's that? Like a filler. A filler? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to fill so it out. So what's your, is it like a Kardashian bum, J-Lo, Shakira, Beyonce? I love Kardashian, Kim Kardashian. So you want a, a proper Yeah, I want a bum. big bum. I won't be able to have one that big, let's face it, but uh, I won't be far behind her. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have it all going on at the front, like teeth, boobs, lashes, and then nothing at the back. So you want the va va Yeah, I want, I want a big bottom. Um, finally, let's talk about your autobiography. We've got a new autobiography coming out. What can we expect in it? Um, you can expect to read about my whole life from like birth till now till today um yeah it's just it's really honest and i've tried to let everybody into my real life because obviously there are some secrets that are a bit reluctant to talk about but i've i've told everything in that book and i hope that it makes people understand how i ended up here and who i am and why i'm like this um and also, I think it's quite quite a like rags to riches story, and wow. um, because like things didn't start off that easy for me, and it's been a bit of a struggle. But I think if you, it just proves to young girls that if you keep fighting forward and you work hard, which a lot of girls have got in their head that you don't need to work, you do put the work in, and then you get the benefits, don't you? And then you sit here in like a mallard skirt. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Wind machine. What more can you ask for? Play a game called um, the only way is hump or dump. Okay. So you have to hump or dump someone. Hump means sex. Whatever. Okay. Yes. So would you hump, urge, or dag? Or dump them? Yeah. So would you hump or dump? Do hump? you hump them together or do you dump them together? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they both together? <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, probably. I'd have to say dump because I don't. I don't really want to do bits. No, of you have of them. to. Yeah, no, you have to hump one and dump one. Oh, right, okay, yeah, I'll, ha I'll hump Diags and dump Arj. 
But I wouldn't really hump him. I, we haven't discussed what humping actually means, <laughs> but like, if it means like and dislike. Whatever you want it to mean, whatever I want it to mean, is hump. Hump Yeah, hump. Diags is one of my best friends. Absolutely love Diags. Arj, he is a friend he who I work with. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that thought in my head right now. That is like actually making me feel a bit sick. Okay. A bit hot in her. Uh, put, 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 the, put the air on. Put the fan back on. <laughs> Would you hump or dump Ricky or Mario? Um, I would dump Ricky, and I'm not even gonna say the word Mario. I don't like that word. It's very weird. What the name Mario? No. Or hump. Yeah. Okay. So she'll hump Mario. Um, would you hump Kirk or Mike? Mick. Mick. Oh my God! You can't say that. Why not? Mick's like old enough to be my dad, and Kirk went out with one of my best friends. So who would you hump? And dump? No comment. Come None of them. I dump them both and bang their heads together. <laughs> um, and lastly, um, Tom or Tom? Tom Pierce or Tom Kilby? Tom Pierce all day long. Tom Kilby. He's absolutely hilarious, but he's in a relationship with Liz. No, no, I won't tell if you want to. No, Tom Pierce, absolutely love him. He's got so much banter, he's really funny. And what, lastly, would you hump or dump me? Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> I might punch you, I don't know about anything else. <laughs>we're joined here with Chloe herself on her big day. Um, your autobiography's out today, so today's a launch party. Um, how are you feeling? I'm feeling so excited. I was a little bit nervous when we pulled up and I see all the photographers outside. They're and what an here. entrance, what a diva. Did you like the car? I was rolling. I was, uh, ro ro rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> that car was so good, I didn't want to get out, it was creepy sick. I literally thought you pulled out for from a mile and I was like, look at her. I didn't want to get out. So can you take me to East London quickly? <laughs> it was the best car and yeah. Kim Kardashian and Kanye had that exact car last week or whatever, the driver was telling me. I sat in Kim Kardashian's actual spot in the car. Diva, diva, hey, hey, hey. How happy is that? I was so excited. I didn't want to get out of that. But you look beautiful. Thank you. What are you wearing? I'm wearing Kim Spendler. She's a designer from Liverpool and a very good friend of mine. Nice, give us a talk, give us a talk, yeah. And also, and she made Madison a little mini version. She She's running around beautiful. somewhere, she yeah. Oh, so we're matching tonight. Oh, but anyway, good luck and um, enjoy your night. Thank Hi. you so much for coming. Right, you look then. amazing. So do you, then. Look at you. Hotty, hotty. And you ain't got to be serious, you might How you doing? Hi, I'm good, thanks. Look very beautiful today. Thank you. Uh, I am, I'm a sugar mama, definitely. Look, look, give me again, give me again, give me a little bit. Hey guys, we're joined with Daryl from the Only Race Essex. How you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Looking good? Trying to. Trying. Yeah, I'm good, mate. You? I'm alright, man. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, looking ream, mate. Looking ream. Your teeth are overly white. <laughs> they are literally in my eyes, shining and shit. Yeah, man. How you doing today? Your your cousin's launch party for a book? Yeah, yeah, man. It's good. Like, obviously, it's packed here. Like, massive. It's a good night, man. Like, hey, it's, a, it's a good club. It's a good yeah, vibe. Yeah, good yeah, vibe. Yeah, yeah. How you feeling? And you support for your cousin? Yeah, yeah. I've come down to support my cousin. You know, I ain't read a book yet, but I'm gonna read it soon. Make sure, though. Right, yeah, man. It's a bit long. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, all books are long.